Do you find yourself dreading going to work because you've just had enough of the office politics? Or are you avoiding certain people or situations at work because you just don't want to get pulled into uncomfortable dynamics? I have been there, and today I want to share with you ways that you can establish some healthy boundaries in the workplace. For the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. I have worked in the corporate sector, the nonprofit sector, I have worked in yoga studios for yoga schools, and I have started two businesses as a solopreneur. And let me tell you, healthy workplace boundaries are essential no matter where you are. Today, I'm gonna to share with you three quick healthy boundary wins that you can put into place right now. Healthy boundary number one, keep it professional, not personal. Now, I know that this can be really challenging, especially for those of us who are so passionate about what it is we are doing. But we have to remember that this is business. When we allow ourselves to take things personally, especially when we're receiving some critical feedback or we have uh, gotten a review that maybe isn't something that we like on a project or our performance, it can be really easy to take it personally, but don't. Remember that this is a workplace and we want to keep it professional. We want to show up as our professional self in all of these situations. In order to step into your professional superhero self, there are ways that you can do this. You can be your own superhero, and I created a video about how to do just that. Be sure to check that out. I'm gonna to link to it in the corner above and in the description below. Healthy boundary tip number two, don't take on more than you actually have to. How many of us, raise your hand, have said yes to a project or raised your hand to do more because nobody else in the room is taking it on? Anybody? Only me, only me. Oh, okay. Yes, when we do this, we overextend ourselves. And when we overextend ourselves, we are not honoring our healthy boundaries. Now, I'm not saying don't go above and beyond. I fully support going above and beyond if we have the capacity to do so. So only take on more if you know that you have the time, energy, and resources to do so. Oftentimes we can find ourselves giving more than we have the capacity to, and that leads to burnout. I wanna know what healthy boundaries do you have in place at work? Share it with us in the comments below. Healthy boundary tip number three, get clear on your role. I cannot tell you how many people I work with who either don't have a job description or aren't sure if what they're currently doing is in alignment with the job description they first saw when they started their jobs. So first things first, do you have a job description? If you do, take time to review it. Is it reflective of what your roles and responsibilities currently are? If you don't have a job description, work together with HR or create one for yourself. Now, I know some of you might be saying, but I work for myself. I'm a solopreneur, do I need to do this? Yes, I believe that everybody should have a job description. I have one for myself and my job description allows me to assess if something is falling inside or outside my roles and responsibilities and what I can actually deliver at any given time. Now, I may say yes to something that falls outside what my job description says, but it's because I really want to do it. It's lighting me up inside. It's a big yes for me. And I don't feel like a healthy boundary is being compromised. So make sure you get clear on what your role is and what your responsibilities are by looking at a job description or creating one for yourself. If you are struggling to establish healthy boundaries, make sure you schedule a free empowerment session with me. It's one hour, you, me, focused on the things that you want to shift in your life. I'll include a link for that below. Putting healthy boundaries in place at work can make it that much more sweet. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. Stay ignited out there and keep those healthy boundaries in place. I'll see you soon. Bye.